We are at Backyard and Bell today in Denton, Texas, where 2,600 people have gathered to hear future Democratic nominee Bader O'Rourke speak about a whole host of complicated issues, everything ranging from health care to immigration rights, and let's hear what he has to say. To win, Congressman O'Rourke will have to increase turnout among independents and Democrats in the state, and even convince many Republicans to defect as well. He will have to raise enormous sums of money to compete in some of the biggest media markets in the country and set up the biggest coordinated grassroots campaign in Texas political history. The Rally to Win is a month-long series of political rallies hosted throughout the state covering the last six weeks of the campaign's playbook. It is making sure everyone is on the same page. As you know, this is our fourth, fifth visit to Denton? Fifth. Fifth, yep. fifth visit to Denton. Um, our first was, was actually here. Um, with maybe uh, a tenth of the crowd that, that's out there right now. So this strategy of showing up for everyone in every single county, every single day, th this, is, this is really paying off right now, and that's what the campaign's about. Uh, Texas is, is probably most accurately defined as a non-voting state. We, we are 49th in the country, so almost dead last in voter turnout. Um, on purpose, some people based on their race or their ethnicity drawn out of congressional districts, given a reason not to vote, we have to transcend that. And that's why we show up for everyone, making sure no one's written off, no one is taken for granted. And this is not going to be a blue wave. This is not about changing the partisan color of this state. It's making sure that every single one of us, Republican, Independent, and Democrat, is represented in the United States Senate. And we're represented towards those things that we want to achieve, not against anyone else, not against another political party. I would not vote for Brett Kavanaugh. Here's why. Um, this country, and especially Texas, needs a Supreme Court justice that believes in voting rights. I've already made the case that we rank 49th in voter turnout on purpose because of racism in our voting laws. We need a Supreme Court justice who believes that Roe versus Wade is a settled law of the land and that every woman can make her own decisions about her own body. I'm, I'm more energized than, than I have ever been, and I've been doing this for the better part of two years. If this is our fifth visit to Denton, uh, we just had our fourth visit to Abilene. So it's not just about showing up, it's about coming back and, and listening to those that I want to serve and represent. And no state will be hurt more by this president's trade policies, uh, the tariffs that he's enacted, than, than Texas. Right now we've decided, or this president has, that we're going to alienate the European Union, we're going to alienate Canada, um, we're going to have a rocky relationship with Mexico. We need our allies, especially if we're going to hold China accountable for dumping steel, for dumping aluminum, for manipulating their currency, which puts the American worker at a disadvantage. It seems no matter win or lose in this campaign, this race already seems historically relevant for possible Democratic hopes of gaining power again at the state and federal level. Of course, every two to four years, they try and convince themselves things will be different this time if only people would vote. The existential question on everybody's mind is, will they or won't they? Given what's on the line right now, and the seriousness with which the other candidate takes this race at this moment, all of the personal attacks and insults and fear that they are hurling our way, this, this is our opportunity. We're gonna continue to be positive we're going to continue to be focused on the future. We're going to continue to tell you, if you are a Republican and you're here, you're in the right place. If you're a Democrat and you're here, you're in the right place. If you're an Independent and you're here, you're in the right place. It's going to be all of us coming together to do something great for this country, to do something great for this state, to do something great for this generation and every generation that follows. Are you all with me? Beto O'Rourke has just wrapped up his speech a few minutes ago, which continues the grassroots momentum of his campaign. With 52 days left until Election Day, the main question on everybody's mind is, will this enthusiasm and momentum translate into votes? With a dead night, I'm Chris Wilkins.